Ursa minor, Ursa minor, Latin, lesser bear, contrasting with Ursa major, also known as the little bear, is a constellation in the northern sky. Like the great bear, the tail of the little bear may also be seen as the handle of a ladle, hence the North American name, Little Dipper, seven stars with four in its bow, like its partner, the Big Dipper. It was one of the 48 constellations listed by the 2nd century astronomer Ptolemy, and remains one of the 88 modern constellations. Ursa Minor has traditionally been important for navigation, particularly by mariners, because of Polaris being the North Star. Polaris, the brightest star in the constellation, is a yellow white supergiant and the brightest Cepheid variable star in the night sky, ranging from an apparent magnitude of 1.97 to 2.00. Beta Ursi Minoris also known as Koshab, is an aging star that has swollen and cooled to become an orange giant with an apparent magnitude of 2.08, only slightly fainter than Polaris. Koshab and magnitude 3 Gamma Ursi Minoris have been called the guardians of the pole star. Planets have been detected orbiting four of the stars, including Koshab. The constellation also contains an isolated neutron star, Calvera, and H1504 plus 65, the hottest white dwarf yet discovered with a surface temperature of 200,000 K. In the Babylonian star catalogs, Ursa Minor was known as the Wagon of Heaven, also associated with the goddess Damkina. It is listed in the Mool.Apin catalog, compiled around 1000 BC among the stars of Enlil that is, the northern sky. According to Diogenes Laertius, citing Callimachus, the Ailes of Miletus measured the stars of the wagon by which the Phoenicians sail. Diogenes identifies these as the constellation of Ursa Minor, which for its reported use by the Phoenicians for navigation at sea were also named Phoenike. The tradition of naming the northern constellations bears appears to be genuinely Greek, although Homer refers to just a single bear. The original bear is thus Ursa Major, and Ursa Minor was admitted as second, or Phoenician bear, Ursa Phoenicia, hence by Omicron Iota Nu Kappa Eta, Venus only later, according to Strabo. I.1.6, C3, due to a suggestion by Thales, who suggested it as a navigation aid to the Greeks, who had been navigating by Ursa Major. In classical antiquity, the celestial pole was somewhat closer to Beta Ursi Minoris than to Alpha Ursi Minoris, and the entire constellation was taken to indicate the northern direction. Since the medieval period, it has become convenient to use Alpha Ursi Minoris, or Polaris, as the North Star even though it was still several degrees away from the celestial pole. Its new Latin name of Stella Polaris was coined only in the early modern period. The ancient name of the constellation is Sinashura, Greek Kappa Upsilon Nu Omicron Sigma Omicron Rho Alpha Dog's Tail. The origin of this name is unclear, Ursa Minor being a dog's tail would imply that another constellation nearby is the dog, but no such constellation is known. Instead, the mythographic tradition of Catasterismi makes Sinashura the name of an Oread nymph described as a nurse of Zeus, honored by the god with a place in the sky. There are various proposed explanations for the name Sinashura. One suggestion connects it to the myth of Callisto, with her son Arcus replaced by her dog being placed in the sky by Zeus. Others have suggested that an archaic interpretation of Ursa Major was that of a cow, forming a group with Boötes as herdsman and Ursa Minor as a dog. George William Cox explained it as a variant of Lambda Upsilon Kappa Sigma Omicron Upsilon Rho Alpha, understood as wolf's tail but by him etymologized as trail, or train, of light, i.e. Lambda Kappa Omicron Sigma Wolf versus Lambda Kappa, light. Allen points to the old Irish name of the constellation, Drag Blood Fire Trail, for comparison. Brown, 1899, suggested a non-Greek origin of the name, alone from an Assyrian and Nasser high rising. An alternative myth tells of two bears that saved Zeus from his murderous father Cronus by hiding him on Mount Idaho later Zeus set them in the sky, but their tails grew long from being swung up into the sky by the god. Because Ursa Minor consists of seven stars, the Latin word for north, i.e., where Polaris points, is Septentrio, from Septem, seven, and Trions, oxen, from seven oxen driving a plow which the seven stars also resemble. This name has also been attached to the main stars of Ursa Major. In Inuit astronomy, the three brightest stars, Polaris, Koshab and Firkad, were known as new to it at never moving, though the term is more frequently used in the singular to refer to Polaris alone. The pole star is too high in the sky at far northern latitudes to be of use in navigation. In Chinese astronomy, the main stars of Ursa Minor are divided between two asterisms, Gaojin, curved array, 
including Alpha Umi, Delta Umi, Epsilon Umi, Zeta Umi, Eta Umi, Theta Umi, Lambda Umi, and Beji, Northern Pole, including Beta Umi and Gamma Umi. Ursa Minor is bordered by Camella Pardalis to the west, Draco to the west, and Cepheus to the east. Covering 256 square degrees, it ranks 56th of the 88 constellations in size. Ursa Minor is colloquially known in the U.S. as the Little Dipper because its seven brightest stars seem to form the shape of a dipper, ladle or a scoop. The star at the end of the dipper handle is Polaris. Polaris can also be found by following a line through the two stars, Alpha and Beta Ursi Majoris, that form the end off the bowl of the Big Dipper, for 30 degrees, three upright fists at arm's length, across the night sky. The four stars constituting the bowl of the Little Dipper are of second, third, fourth, and fifth magnitudes, and provide an easy guide to determining what magnitude stars are visible, useful for city dwellers or testing one's eyesight. The three-letter abbreviation for the constellation, as adopted by the YAL, International Astronomical Union, in 1922, is UMI. The official constellation boundaries, as set by Eugène Delport in 1930, are defined by a polygon of 22 segments, illustrated in info box. In the equatorial coordinate system, the right ascension coordinates of these borders lie between and, while the declination coordinates range from the north celestial pole south to 65.40 degrees. Its position in the far northern celestial hemisphere means that the whole constellation is only visible to observers in the northern hemisphere. The German cartographer Johann Bayer used the Greek letters alpha to theta to label the most prominent stars in the constellation, while his countryman Johann Ellert Bode subsequently added iota to phi. Only Lambda and Pi remain in use, likely because of their proximity to the North Celestial Pole. Within the constellation's borders, there are 39 stars brighter than or equal to apparent magnitude 6.5. Marking the little bear's tail, Polaris, or Alpha Ursi Minoris, is the brightest star in the constellation, varying between apparent magnitude 1.97 and 2.00 over a period of 3.97 days. Located around 432 light years away from Earth, it is a yellow white supergiant that varies between spectral types F7 Ib and F8 Ib, and has around 6 times the Sun's mass, 2,500 times its luminosity, and 45 times its radius. Polaris is the brightest Cepheid variable star visible from Earth. It is a triple star system, the supergiant primary star having two yellow white main sequence star companions that are 17 and 2,400 astronomical units, AU. Distant and take 29.6 and 42,000 years respectively to complete one orbit. Traditionally called Koshab, Beta Ursi Minoris at apparent magnitude 2.08 is only slightly less bright than Polaris. Located around 131 light years away from Earth, it is an orange giant, an evolved star that has used up the hydrogen in its core and moved off the main sequence, of spectral type K4 IV slightly variable over a period of 4.6 days. Koshop has had its mass estimated at 1.3 times that of the Sun via measurement of these oscillations. Koshop is 450 times more luminous than the Sun and has 42 times its diameter, with a surface temperature of approximately 4,130 K estimated to be around 2.95 billion years old. Give or take 1 billion years, Koshab was announced to have a planetary companion around 6.1 times as massive as Jupiter with an orbit of 522 days. Traditionally known as Fracad, Gamma Ursi Minoris has an apparent magnitude that varies between 3.04 and 3.09 roughly every 3.4 hours. It and Koshab have been termed the guardians of the pole star. A white bright giant of spectral type A3. With around 4.8 times the Sun's mass, 1,050 times its luminosity, and 15 times its radius, it is 487 plus or minus 8 light years distant from Earth. Fracad belongs to a class of stars known as Delta Scuti variables, short period, 6 hours at most, pulsating stars that have been used as standard candles and as subjects to study asteroseismology. Also, possibly a member of this class is Zeta Ursi Minoris, a white star of spectral type Eve, which has begun cooling. Expanding and brightening. It is likely to have been a B3 main sequence star and is now slightly variable. At magnitude 4.95, the dimmest of the seven stars of the Little Dipper is Eta Ursi Minoris. A yellow white main sequence star of spectral type F5e, it is 97 light years distant. It is double the Sun's diameter, 1.4 times as massive, and shines with 7.4 times its luminosity. Nearby Zeta lies 5.00 magnitude Eta Ursi Minoris. 
located 860 plus or minus 80 light years distant. It is an orange giant of spectral type K5i that has expanded and cooled off the main sequence, and has an estimated diameter around 4.8 times that of the Sun. Making up the handle of the Little Dipper are Delta Ursi Minoris or Yidun and Epsilon Ursi Minoris. Just over 3.5 degrees from the North Celestial Pole, Delta is a white main sequence star of spectral type A1b with an apparent magnitude of 4.35. Located 172 plus or minus 1 light years from Earth. Bearing the proper name of Yildun, it has around 2.8 times the diameter and 47 times the luminosity of the Sun. A triple star system, Epsilon Nursi Minoris shines with a combined average light of magnitude 4.22. A yellow giant of spectral type G55, the primary is an RS Canem Venetacorum variable star. It is a spectroscopic binary, with a companion 0.36 astronomical units distant and a third star, an orange main sequence star of spectral type K0, 8100 astronomical units distant. Located close to Polaris is Lambda Ursi Minoris, a red giant of spectral type m 1 i It is a semi-regular variable varying from magnitude 6.35 to 6.45. The northerly nature of the constellation means that the variable stars can be observed all year. The red giant R. Ursi Minoris is a semi-regular variable varying from magnitude 8.5 to 11.5 over 328 days, while S. Ursi Minoris is a long-period variable that ranges between magnitudes 8.0 and 11 over 331 days. Located south of Koshab and Fakad towards Draco is R. R. Ursi Minoris, a red giant of spectral type M5i that is also a semi-regular variable ranging from magnitude 4.44 to 4.85 over a period of 43.3 days. T. Ursi Minoris is another red giant variable star that has undergone a dramatic change in status, from being a long period, Mira, variable ranging from magnitude 7.8 to 15 over 310 to 315 days to a semi-regular variable. The star is thought to have undergone a shell helium flash a point where the shell of helium around the star's core reaches a critical mass and ignites, marked by its abrupt change in variability in 1979. Z Ursi Minoris is a faint variable star that suddenly dropped six magnitudes in 1992 and was identified as one of a rare class of stars, our Coroni Borealis variables. Eclipsing variables are star systems that vary in brightness because of one star passing in front of the other rather than from any intrinsic change in luminosity. W Ursi Minoris is one such system, its magnitude ranging from 8.51 to 9.59 over 1.7 days. The combined spectrum of the system is A2V, but the masses of the two component stars are unknown. A slight change in the orbital period in 1973 suggests there is a third component of the multiple star system most likely a red dwarf, with an orbital period of 62.2 plus or minus 3.9 years. Ruersi Minoris is another example, ranging from 10 to 10.66 over 0.52 days. It is a semi-detached system, as the secondary star is filling its Roche lobe and transferring matter to the primary. RW Ursi Minoris is a cataclysmic variable star system that flared up as a nova in 1956, reaching magnitude 6. In 2003, it was still two magnitudes brighter than its baseline, and dimming at a rate of 0.02 magnitude a year. Its distance has been calculated as 5,000,000 plus or minus 800 parsecs, 16,300 light years, which puts its location in the galactic halo. Taken from the villain in the Magnificent Seven, Calvary is the nickname given to an X ray source known as 1RXSJ141256.0 plus 7922204 in the Rosadal Sky Survey Bright Source Catalog, RAS slash Bayest Say. It has been identified as an isolated neutron star, one of the closest of its kind to Earth. Ursa Minor has two enigmatic white dwarfs. H1504 plus 65 is a faint, magnitude 15.9, star that with the hottest surface temperature, 200,000 K yet discovered for a white dwarf. Its atmosphere, composed of roughly half carbon, half oxygen and 2% neon, is devoid of hydrogen and helium, its composition unexplainable by current models of stellar evolution. WD 1337 plus 705 is a cooler white dwarf that has magnesium and silicon in its spectrum, suggesting a companion or circumstellar disk, though no evidence for either has come to light. WISE 1506 plus 7027 is a brown dwarf of spectral type T6 that is a mere light years away from Earth. A faint object of magnitude 14, it was discovered by the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, 
SWISE, in 2011. Koshab aside, three more stellar systems have been discovered to contain planets. 11 or C Minoris is an orange giant of spectral type K4 I of around 1.8 times as massive as the Sun. Around 1.5 billion years old, it has cooled and expanded since it was an A type main sequence star. Around 390 light years distant, it shines with an apparent magnitude of 5.04. A planet around 11 times the mass of Jupiter was discovered orbiting the star with a period of 516 days in 2009. HD 120084 is another evolved star, this time a yellow giant of spectral type G7 IV, around 2.4 times the mass of the Sun. It has a planet 4.5 times the mass of Jupiter with one of the most eccentric planetary orbits, with an eccentricity of 0.66, discovered by precisely measuring the radial velocity of the star in 2013. HD 150706 is a Sun-like star of spectral type G0V some 89 light-years distant from the solar system. It was thought to have a planet as massive as Jupiter at a distance of 0.6 astronomical units, but this was discounted in 2007. A further study published in 2012 showed that it has a companion around 2.7 times as massive as Jupiter that takes around 16 years to complete an orbit and is 6.8 astronomical units distant from its Sun. Ursa Minor is rather devoid of deep sky objects. The Ursa Minor dwarf, a dwarf spheroidal galaxy, was discovered by Albert George Wilson of the Lowell Observatory in the Palomar Sky Survey in 1955. Its center is around light years distant from Earth. In 1999, Kenneth Mile and Christopher Burke used the Hubble Space Telescope to confirm that it had a single burst of star formation that lasted around 2 billion years that took place around 14 billion years ago and that the galaxy was probably as old as the Milky Way itself. NGC 6217 is a barred spiral galaxy located some 67 million light-years away, which can be located with a or larger telescope as an 11th magnitude object about 2.5 degrees east-northeast of Zeta Ursi Minoris. It has been characterized as a starburst galaxy, which means it is undergoing a high rate of star formation compared to a typical galaxy. NGC 6251 is an active supergiant elliptical radio galaxy more than 340 million light years away from Earth. It has a Seyfert II active galactic nucleus, and is one of the most extreme examples of a Seyfert galaxy. This galaxy may be associated with gamma ray source 3 egg J1621 plus 8203, which has high energy gamma ray emission. It is also noted for its one sided radio jet, one of the brightest known discovered in 1977. The Ursids, a prominent meteor shower that occurs in Ursa Minor, peaks between December 18th and 25th. Its parent body is the comet 8P slash Tuttle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.